Hi, my name is Tim Roberts. I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS application engineer here at Go Engineer. In this quick tips video, I'll be discussing the new PathMate functionality, um, the way to use a motor to drive motion in 2011 SOLIDWORKS. The first thing to mention is um, to, to prepare for this, I've went in and defined a PathMate. A PathMate, as you may know, is an advanced mate located here. It gives you the ability to drive a component vertex along a path. In this case, I um, created a vertex on my rocket here, and I've defined a spline as the path. So that's how this is set up. Um, a couple things to mention um, in the path mate, uh, this is set to free. Uh, so in other words, uh, when I drag my rocket, uh, it's free to move along the path. Now, in preparation for motion and for using the PathMate motor, um, this is recommended to set the path constraint to either distance along a path or percent along a path. So we're going to change that to percent along path in preparation for motion. The other thing to mention is you do need SOLIDWORKS Motion for this new functionality. You'll go to Tools Add-ins and verify that your SOLIDWORKS Motion is turned on here. And now we will go create a new motion study. So if I right mouse click down here on my tabs, I can say New Motion Study. And we need to ensure that we are not in animation, not in basic motion. We need to be in motion analysis. Um, if we're in one of the lower features and we go to the motor, um, we won't be able to define our path mate. So uh, I'll go to motion analysis and I want to go to motor. And we're going to select the new feature, which is path mate motor. Now, we need a mate, and I'm going to select it down here out of the Motion Manager tree, my path mate. We can uh, specify, you notice it picked up the spline. Um, we're going to specify a speed, let's just say 3 inches per second for now, for our toy rocket. And we will apply that. You notice it's automatically set us to 5 seconds down here in the tree. So as we calculate the motion, our rocket moves along our path. Now, it didn't go quite to the end. There's a couple of ways to deal with that. Either we could stretch out our time on the timeline, uh, or we could come in and, and uh, change our speed. Let's go to 8 inches per second here. And as we replay it, it should go a little bit further. But that's the new PathMate functionality for 2011. Um, you can still do all the standard things you can do uh, with results for this, uh, just like any motion analysis. This has been Tim Roberts with Go Engineer. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check out our other videos for more tips on using SOLIDWORKS. Thank you.